The day Henry met a scooter. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Scooter. Ciao, uh, Henry. How are you today, Scooter? Excellente, Henry. I just love living here in the capital of Italy, one of the most beautiful and historic cities in the world, Rome. Hello, Henry. Hello, everyone. Wow, Rome sure is an amazing city, Scooter. But what are you doing sat outside this pizzeria? I'm a pizza delivery scooter, Henry. I deliver piping hot, super tasty pizza all over Rome. Oh, I love pizza. Italy is the best place of pizza, Henry. And Italian pizza is the best in the world. Because we use the finest ingredients and the most delicious toppings, no? Ciao, Henry. Wow, you all look so yummy. My favourite pizza is plain old margarita. So simple, yet so tasty. Bellissimo. It looks like you're all ready for your delivery, Scooter. You'd best be off. No one likes a cold pizza. You're all right, Henry. I'm just waiting for my delivery driver. They should be here any moment. Scooter, Scooter, we have some terrible news. The pizza delivery driver ate too much spaghetti, had to go for a lie down, and won't be back until tomorrow. Oh, no, Henry. This is a disaster. If I don't deliver these pizzas soon, they'll be ruined and all our customers will go hungry. Oh, if only there was another pizza delivery driver around to help. That gives me a great idea, Scooter. I could become a pizza delivery driver and we can deliver the pizzas all over Rome together. Fantastico, Henry. That's a great idea. OK, Scooter. The first delivery is at the Trevi Fountain. Don't forget to put your helmet on, Henry. Will do, Scooter. Will do. Let's go! Hello, Trevi Fountain. Here's your Napoli pizza. Nice and hot. Oh, marvellous. Mmm. I do love anchovies. Thank you, Henry. You're welcome. Molto bene. Well done, Henry. You're doing a great job. But there's plenty more pizza left to deliver. There's no time to waste then, Scooter. Let's get delivery. Hello, Centurion statues. One quattro stagioni pizza. The Four Seasons. Thanks, Henry! Hello, Pantheon. Here's your pizza. Oh, lovely. Thanks, Henry. Hello, St. Peter's Basilica. Pizza delivery just for you. Thank you, Henry! That's everything, Henry. All the pizzas have been delivered. Molto bene, Henry. Well done. It was my pleasure, Scooter. Mmm. What is that yummy smell? That's me, Henry. Oh, dear, Scooter. It looks like there's still one pizza left to deliver. Henry, Scooter, we've just had one last order come in. We need you to deliver this pizza to the Statue of Caesar. Pronto! Oh, Henry, the Statue of Caesar is all the way on the other side of the city. It will be stone cold by the time we get there. Caesar's statue will be very sad if his pizza is delivered cold. Don't worry, everyone. I've not delivered a cold pizza yet, and I'm not about to start now. Let's go! Bye, Centurions. Toodles. Bye, Pantheon. Bye. Bye, St. Peter's Basilica. See you later, Henry. Uh... Sorry for the delay, Caesar statue. Here's your margarita pizza ready to eat. Thank you, Henry. Ah, delicioso. You did it. You delivered all the pizza before they went to call. Bellissimo work. Well done. It's all in a day's work for Henry, the pizza delivery driver. Now, who wants some gelato ice cream? Hooray! Hooray! Calling me Scooter. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all of mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me deliver the pizzas all over Rome. You're welcome. Have a nice afternoon. Ciao, Henry. Ciao, Scooter. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met a box of chocolates. Box 
box of chocolates. Hello, Henry. How are you today, box of chocolates? Oh, I'm wonderful. Thanks, Henry. I just love being here, surrounded by all these delicious, colourful sweet treats. We have sherbet lemons, <laughs> jelly snakes, <laughs> and chocolatey swirls. <laughs> Hello, Henry. Hello, sweeties. Oh, chocolatey swirls are my favourite. They are? Well, in that case, have a taster. <laughs> Thanks, box of chocolates. I'll save this for a special treat after my dinner. Now then, Henry, what brings you to the suit shop today? I'm looking for something nice for my mum because it's Mother's Day. Oh, yes, of course. So it is. The chocolates have been flying off the shelves. In fact, you're in luck because I am the last box. That's great news. I have so many yummy, licious flavours, Henry. I have orange crunch, caramel swirl, mint surprise. Hmm, box of chocolates? There doesn't seem to be any chocolates in here. What? Really? Oh, they must have been so delicious that someone has eaten them all already. Can you make some more? Oh, Henry, I would need a chocolatier to do that. If only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, Box of Chocolates. I could become a chocolatier and we can make some chocolates together. That's a great idea, Henry. Now. Wash your hands, then you'll be ready to start. Will do, box of chocolates. Will do. Thanks, Tap. Oh, you're welcome, Henry. OK, box of chocolates. If we're going to make some chocolate, first we need some cocoa beans. Hello, Henry. I'm a sack of cocoa beans, freshly picked from the hills of Venezuela and ready for roasting. Hello, sack of cocoa beans. Straight into the roaster, please. Here you go, Henry. I'm just roasting the beans, Henry. To remove any impurities and improve the flavour, next the beans need to be blended together. And we end up with a lovely smooth chocolatey paste. Oh, that looks delicious, Henry. Thanks, box of chocolates. But there's still lots more work left to do. Let's go! Hello, sugar, butter, vanilla and milk. Hello, Henry. <laughs> Hello, mixing machine. Hello, Henry. Hello, chocolate pump. Hello, Henry. Look at the time, Henry. The chocolates should be set by now. OK, everyone. Out of your moulds and into the box, please. Oh, Whee! how exciting. Ah! This is my favourite part. Hmm, Henry, it looks like we're one chocolate short. What are we going to do? Not to worry, box of chocolates. One more chocolate coming right up. Uh-oh, Henry, that's not good. I think I'm going to fall. Chocolate, chocolate tidal, tidal wave. Bye-bye, mixing machine. Bye-bye, ah. ingredients. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bean roaster. Oh. Oh. Oh dear, Henry, look at this mess. And I'm still missing one chocolate. What are we going to do? Hmm, wait a minute, box of chocolates. I think I have an idea. Of course, your chocolatey swirl. Great idea, Henry, but you were so looking forward to eating it. I sure was, box of chocolates. But I'm sure my mum will love it even more. Yay! Day box of chocolates. We best be off. Oh, I'm so excited. I hope your mum enjoys our chocolates. I'm sure she will. I'm coming, mum. The day Henry met. And mum. <laughs> Hello, Lam. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Lamp? I feel great, thank you, Henry. I just love living in the auction house. It's filled with all sorts of interesting antiques and bits and bobs. You just never know what you might find. 
Here we have a teapot with matching tea set, a rusty old suit of armor, oh, and a lovely little violin. Say hello, everyone. Hello, Henry. Hello, everyone. Hmm, lamp? What kind of lamp are you exactly? You don't look like the lamp I have in my bedroom. <laughs> I'm a very old brass lamp, Henry. A long time ago, people would use lamps like me so they could see in the dark. They would fill me with oil, put a wick in my spout, and then light me just like a candle. That's so interesting, lamp. I've never heard of a lamp like that before. Well, if you think that's interesting, Henry, let me tell you about magic lamps. A magic lamp is an extra special lamp, Henry. One that the legends say has a genie living inside that can grant you three wishes. Three wishes? Wow, that's amazing, Lamp. Do you have a genie living inside you? I'm afraid not, Henry, but I've always wondered what it would be like to be a magic lamp and go on an exciting wish-granting adventure, if only there was a genie around to help. That gives me a great idea, Lamp. I could become a genie. You could become a magic lamp. And we could go on an exciting wish granting adventure and grant three wishes. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Lamp, if we're going to go on an exciting adventure, first we're going to need some transport. Magic carpet at your service, Henry. Hello, magic carpet. Please make sure any baggage is stowed in the overhead compartments and make sure that you are seated in an upright position. On behalf of Magic Carpet Airlines, we hope you have a pleasant flight. Ready, Lump? Let's go! I've been practicing my new tune all day. I wish I had someone to share it with. Your wish is my command, Flute. Thanks, Henry. One wish down, Henry. We've been walking all day through our dry desert. I wish we had an oasis to drink from. Your wish is my command, camels. Thanks, Henry. That's your second wish. I'm so old and shabby. I wish someone would give me a makeover. Your wish is my command, old shabby tent. Well, thank you very much, Henry. That's three wishes, Henry. Well, Lamp. It looks like everyone has had their wish granted. <laughs> oh, what's that noise? It sounds like someone's upset, Lamp. Let's see if we can help. <laughs> Excuse me, Scorpion. Are you OK? I'm OK, Henry. It's just that it's my birthday today and no one has turned up to my party. Oh, dear. Why is that, Scorpion? They're all afraid I might accidentally pinch or sting them, Henry. Oh, I wish I had someone to celebrate my birthday with. Your wish is my command, Scorpion. What's going on, Lamp? I can't seem to do any magic. You've granted all your wishes, Henry. You only get to grant three, remember? Oh, yes, of course. Sorry, Scorpion. I guess I'm all out of wishes for today. Hmm... But don't worry, I think I have an idea. Hop on and no peeking. Okay, Scorpion, open your eyes. Happy birthday, Scorpion! Oh, thank you so much, Henry. However did you manage this without magic? You don't need magic when you have good friends. Now, who wants some birthday cake? Hooray! My mum calling me, Lamp. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me go on an exciting wish-granting adventure. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met a cockbook. Cookbook. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Cookbook? I feel smashing, Henry. I just love living here in the bookshop surrounded by all these amazing books. There are colouring books for creating lovely pictures. Hello, Henry. Pop-up books where the picture jumps off the page. Hello, Henry. 
and even songbooks that teach you how to sing. La, la, la. Hello, Henry. Hello, everyone. And what kind of book are you? I'm a cookbook, Henry, so my pages are filled with recipes to make lots and lots of delicious scrub. A recipe? What's that cookbook? A recipe is a list of ingredients and instructions that tell you how to prepare the perfect dish. Well, what was the last meal you helped someone cook? Was it beans on toast? Was it cheese and crackers? Was it a giant burger with barbecue sauce and pickles? Well, the truth is, Henry, I've never helped anyone cook a single thing because I've never even left this shop. That is a pity, cookbook. It is, Henry. But one day I'd love to be used in a busy kitchen of a fancy restaurant and help create a three-course meal. Why don't you give it a go, cookbook? I'd love to, Henry, but I'm not much use on my own. I'd need a chef to bring my recipes to life. If only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, cookbook. I could become a chef and we can work in a fancy restaurant and create a three-course meal together. That's a great idea, Henry. First course, spicy vegetable soup. Second course, spaghetti and meatballs. Dessert course, chocolate fudge cake with gooey fudge sauce. Order up. This is it, Henry. Our first order. Now wash your hands, then we'll be ready to start. Will do, cookbook. Will do. Thanks, Tap. You're welcome, Henry. OK, cookbook. First course is spicy vegetable soup. Let me see. Mm, first, we need potatoes, parsnips and carrots. Potatoes, parsnips and carrots. Check. Then we need to pop them in the stock. Keep well back, Henry. I'm very hot. Veggies bubbling away nicely. Anything else? Just a sprinkle of fresh chilli, Henry. There. All done. Service, please. You're doing a great job, Henry. But we still have two courses left to cook. Next up, spaghetti and meatballs. There's no time to waste then, cookbook. Let's get cooking. Hello, meatballs. Hello, Henry. Hello, tomato sauce. Hello, Henry. Hello, spaghetti. Hello, Henry. Service, please. You're doing a great job, Henry. We only have one course to go. Chocolate fudge cake with gooey fudge sauce. OK, cookbook. What's the recipe? Oh, no, Henry. It looks like we spilled tomato sauce all over the recipe. This is a disaster. What are we going to do? I'll use my super-duper MasterChef skills to rustle up the best dessert ever. And I can help, too. Let's see. Well, every dessert needs ice cream, and bacon goes with everything. Well, you can't have bacon without eggs, Henry. Good thinking, cookbook. And for a splash of colour, how about... Avocados! Here we go, cookbook. We couldn't make a chocolate fudge cake, but we did make this a super-duper Henry Sunday. Wow, Henry! That's like the best dessert I've ever seen. All in a day's work for Henry the Chef. Service, please. Hooray! Today, Henry met a cookbook. He laughed along with everyone. Today, Henry met a cookbook. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me cookbook. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me create a smashing three-course meal in a fancy restaurant. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A pan. <laughs> Hello, Pan. Wow. Howdy, Henry. How are you today, Pan? I'm just fine and dandy, Henry. I love spending all day down here by the creek doing what a pan does best. What's that then, Pan? Are you cooking beans? Are you frying eggs? Are you sautéing mushrooms in a garlic and herb sauce? Why, I'm not that kind of pan, Henry. I'm the niftiest, siftiest pan there is. A gold pan. 
I scoop up some of this here mud and water from the creek, shake myself side to side like this, the sand and stone washes out. And then, if I'm really, really lucky, I might find a bit of gold at the bottom. Wow, that's amazing, Pan. It sure is, Henry. Gold is mighty rare and mighty valuable. So when I find it, I call it my pay dirt. Have you found any gold yet? I haven't, Henry. I'm having no luck here. In fact, I ain't found nothing but sand, sand, sand. Hello, Henry. Hello, giant pile of sand. What I really need is to dig in the mine, Henry. I'm sure there's plenty of gold down there. A mine? What's that then, Pan? A mine is where many minerals such as gold are found and dug up. They're buried deep in the earth. There be gold in them hills, Henry. Hello. I can smell it. Oh, but I'd need a prospector to help me do that, Henry. Shucks, if only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, Pan. I could become a prospector and we could dig in the mine and find some gold together. That's the bestest idea ever. Let's go. Okay, Pan, judging by the structure of the rocks over here, the veins of quartz over there, and the presence of iron oxides, I think we should start excavating immediately. What does that mean, Henry? It means we better start digging! Oops. Wow, this is hard work, Pan. We might be here for a while. Wait a minute. Do you hear that, Henry? I can't hear anything. What is it? It's the gold, Henry. It be down here. I can hear it calling us deeper into the mine. Hello! Ah! Ah! Sorry to startle you, but I'm just about to head deeper into the mine. Would you like a lift? We'd love one. Thanks, minecart. You're welcome, Henry. All aboard. OK, minecart. Let's go! Yee-haw! <laughs> Hello, pickaxes. Hello, Henry. Hello, lanterns. Hello, Henry. Hello, handcar. Hello, Henry. It sure is dark down here, Pan. It surely is, Henry. I think we're getting close. There'd be gold down here. I can almost taste it. Oh, no. Look ahead. It's a dead end. Brakes! Ah! Be careful, y'all. see a thing. I know, Henry. We'll never find that gold now. Don't be so sure, Pan. There be gold down here, I tell you. I can see it. Look, we've hit pay dirt. Hello. Hello. Eureka! We did it, Henry. We've struck gold. We sure did, Pan. It's all in a day's work for Henry the Prospector. Hooray! The day Henry met a Pan, he laughed a my mum calling me, Pan. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thank you kindly for helping find this here gold. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Easter Egg. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Easter Egg? I feel excellent, Henry. I'm so excited for the egg-tastic egg hunt extravaganza today. Oh, I love egg hunts. They're so much fun. Um, but Easter Egg, shouldn't you be hiding and not sat here on the grass? You're right, Henry. I'm just waiting for the Easter Bunny and all the other eggs to arrive so she can hide them for the egg hunt extravaganza! 
Easter egg, Easter egg, I have some terrible news. What is it, Basket? The Easter Bunny has eaten too many carrots, gotten a tummy ache, and had to go to the doctor's. She won't be able to bring all the other eggs in time for the egg hunt. Oh no, Henry, this is a disaster. We can't have an egg hunt, extravaganza, without an Easter Bunny to bring all the eggs. If only there was another one around. That gives me a great idea, Easter Egg. I could become an Easter Bunny and I can help decorate all the eggs and hide them in time for the egg hunt extravaganza. That's an excellent idea, Henry. OK, everyone, first things first. If we want this to be the best egg hunt ever, we're going to need to decorate a lot more Easter eggs. Let's get decorating. <laughs> <laughs> You're doing a cracking job, Henry. Thanks, Easter Egg. Now that all the eggs are decorated, there's only one thing left to do. Hide them in everyone's gardens, ready for the egg hunt extravaganza. Let's go! Yeah. Hello, Cottage Garden. Yeah. Hello, rooftop garden. Hello, Henry. Yeah. Hello, rock garden. Hello, Henry. Yeah. You're doing a great job, Henry. We have three eggs left. <laughs> and one last garden to visit. And where's that then, Easter egg? It's over there, Henry. All you have to do is hop over this log, go past the trees and jump over the hedge. Well, what are we waiting for, Easter Egg? Let's hop to it! Here we go, Henry. The last garden. All you need to do now is hide the last three Easter Eggs. We'll do, Easter Egg. We'll do. Mm. Easter Egg? There doesn't seem to be any eggs in here, but I'm sure they were there a moment ago. Oh no, Henry! We must have dropped them somewhere along the way. What are we going to do? Don't worry, Easter Egg. Looks like we'll just have to start our egg hunt a little early. Follow me! Yeah! You did a great job at the Easter Bunny, Henry. You managed to hide all the eggs just in time for the egg hunt. Eggs extravaganza! Thanks, Easter Egg. There's just one more thing left to do. What's that, Henry? Get this egg hunt started! Hooray! Today, Henry met an Easter Egg. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping to decorate and hide all the Easter eggs. Ready for the egg hunt. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Aren't you forgetting something, Henry? I'm your Easter egg reward for being the best Easter bunny ever. Well, thanks, Easter egg. I'm coming, Mum. The day. Henry. How are you today, Mannequin? I'm great, thanks, Henry. I'm just here showing off my latest look and having a lovely time hanging out with my friends and family. Hello, Henry. Hello, Henry. Hello everyone. You look very stylish, Mannequin, but hmm, what does a mannequin do exactly? A mannequin's job is to show off lots of lovely clothes for all the potential shoppers to see. Guess what time it is? It's shopping time! That sounds like a very glamorous job, Mannequin. It is, Henry. But I've always dreamt of doing something a little more exciting. I'd like to be a supermodel. Wow, a supermodel? 
with superpowers who saves the day like a superhero. Well, more a hero of fashion, Henry. A supermodel wears clothes made by a fashion designer and helps show off their latest creations at high-end fashion shows. Oh, just once I'd love to be a supermodel and strut my stuff on the catwalk instead of being stuck here in the shop window. Why don't you give it a go, mannequin? I'm sure you'd make a great supermodel. I'd love to, Henry, but I'd need a fashion designer to design a unique and amazing creation for me to show off on the catwalk. If only there was one around. That gives me a great idea, mannequin. I could become a fashion designer and we could create a new, unique and amazing outfit to show off on the catwalk. That's a great idea, Henry. Okay, mannequin, first things first. If we're going to design you a new outfit, first we better take your measurements. Measuring tape at your service, Henry. How can I help you today? I'm designing Mannequin a new outfit, but we need to make sure it fits perfectly. Can you take his measurements, please? It would be my pleasure. Now, let me see. Height, waist, chest, outside leg, inside leg, arms and shoulders. There, all done. Thanks, measuring tape. Okay, Mannequin, now that we've taken your measurements, we can finally start designing your new outfit. <laughs> Hello, drawing board. Hello, Henry. Hello, scissors. Hello, Henry. Hello, sewing machine. Hello, Henry. Okay, mannequin, I think you finally look like a supermodel. Oh, thank you, Henry. I look great. Now, let's get you to the fashion show. I feel really nervous, Henry. Everyone looks so stylish and glamorous. Don't worry, mannequin. They're all going to love your new, unique, one-of-a-kind, never-before-seen outfit. Uh-oh. Did you see that, Henry? That model's outfit looks just like mine. Mannequin, you're wanted on the catwalk. Follow me, please. You're up next. What am I going to do, Henry? I can't hit the catwalk wearing the same outfit as someone else. Hmm. Don't worry, mannequin. I think I have an idea. And here we have mannequin wearing an Avon Guard outfit. Designed by Henry. Just amazing. We did it, Henry. That was amazing. They loved it. Thanks so much. You're welcome, mannequin. It was all in a day's work for Henry the fashion designer. Hooray! The day Henry met a mannequin, he laughed along with everyone. My mum calling me, Mannequin. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thank you for helping me live my dream on the catwalk. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. A brush. <laughs> Hello, Brush. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Brush? I'm great, thanks, Henry. I just love working in the pet groomers, surrounded by all these beautiful, fluffy, feathery and scaly pets. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. Hello, everyone. Pets with fur need to be groomed regularly, Henry. A quick brush every day helps keep their coats in tip-top condition. Oh, that reminds me. I've brought my pet Shaggy Dog to be washed and groomed. It's a very important day, after all. Isn't it, Shaggy Dog? That's right, Henry. <laughs> it's the day of the big pet show, and I want to look my best for the competition. <laughs> it would be my pleasure, Henry, but me and the grooming team... Hello, Henry! ...have to get all these other pets groomed and ready for the competition, too. But don't worry. I'll get started as soon as the pet groomer arrives. Brush! Brush! I have some terrible news. The pet groomer has become allergic to cats, can't stop sneezing, and has to go home to get the medicine. 
so there won't be anyone to help groom all the pets until tomorrow. But the big pet show is today. What am I going to do, Henry? Oh, if only there was another pet groomer around to help. That gives me a great idea, Brush. I could become a pet groomer and we could groom all the pets in time for the big pet show. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Brush, we haven't got much time. Let's get to work. First up, we have an Afghan hound. Hello, Henry. Hello, Brush. Just a wash and blow dry for me today, please, darlings. Coming right up, Afghan hound. Could you pass me the shampoo, please, Henry? Will do, Brush. Will do. Oh, not that bottle, Henry. That's the super duper most curliest hair in the world shampoo. We want the extra shiny hair shampoo bottle. Excellent! What do you think, Afghan Hound? Oh, thanks ever so much, Henry. I look absolutely fabulous, darling. That's one happy customer, Henry. But there's plenty more pets who want to look their best. There's no time to waste then, Brush. Let's go! Hello, Tortoise. Hello, Henry. Hello, Rabbit. Hello, Henri. Hello, Cat. Hello. There, all the pets have been washed, groomed, and are looking great. And just in time for the show. Great job, Henry. Thanks, Brush. Come on, grooming team. Next up, the big pet show. Pets to your podiums, please. The competition is about to start. Good luck, everyone. Thanks, Henry. The shiniest shell award goes to Tortoise. The widest teeth award goes to Rabbit. The neatest claws award goes to Cat. And now it's time for the final category. The Curliest Hair Award. OK, Shaggy Dog, you're up next. Oh, 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 dear, Henry, look at all those other dogs. They're so fluffy and curly. I'd have to have the superest, duperest, curliest hair in the world to beat them. Ooh. Superest, duperest, curliest? Hmm, that gives me a great idea. Hmm, yes, very shiny. Excellent colour. What do we have here? Hmm. Wow, such volume, such vitality and bounce. It's the superest, duperest, curliest hair I have ever seen. First prize. You did it, Henry. You got all of the pets ready in time for the show, and your dog even won first prize. All in a day's work for Henry the Pet Groomer. <laughs> Mom calling me brush. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thank you for helping to get all the pets ready in time for the big pet show. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye bye, Henry. Bye bye. I'm coming, Mom. The day Henry met. Ah, bye. How are you today, Belle? I feel great, Henry. I just love working here in the hotel. With so many guests coming and going, there's always someone interesting to meet. There are briefcases talking business in the lounge. Bye, hi. You said hello. Yeah, yeah, totally, totally. Rucksacks taking a break from travelling in the spa. Oh, that's much better. And suitcases having a relaxing family holiday. <laughs> <laughs> So, Belle, what exactly do you do in the hotel? I have the best job of all, Henry. I work here on the reception desk. I greet all the guests, then the hotel manager checks them into their rooms and we do everything we can to ensure they have a wonderful stay. That sounds like a very busy job, Belle. It sure is, Henry, especially today, because we're fully booked. Just look at the queue. 
I'll start helping to check them in as soon as the hotel manager arrives. Bill, Bill, you're never going to believe what's happened. There's been a mix-up and the hotel manager has accidentally bucked a day off. Oh no, Henry. That means there won't be anyone to help me take care of all the guests. What am I going to do? If only there was another hotel manager around to help. That gives me a great idea, Belle. I could become a hotel manager and we could take care of all the hotel guests together. That's a great idea, Henry. OK, Belle, first things first. We'd better start checking in the guests. Next, please. Hello, fancy bag. Welcome to Henry and Belle Super Amazing Hotel. How may I be of service? I'd like to check into my room with a king-size bed, please. Of course. Here's your key. Your room is on the ninth floor. And here is luggage trolley to help you with your extra bags. Hello, lift. Can you take Fancy Bag to the ninth floor, please? Of course, Henry. The ninth floor. The highest floor in the hotel. Well, apart from the penthouse suite, of course. The penthouse suite? What's that, lift? The penthouse suite is the best room in the whole hotel, Henry. It's reserved for only the most important guests. That's good to know. Enjoy your stay, Fancy Bag. If there's anything you need, you just have to ask. Oh, thank you ever so much, Henry. Yowing up. Running a hotel is a lot easier than I thought, Belle. Don't speak too soon, Henry. We still have to check in the rest of the guests, make sure the rooms are prepared, drinks are made and dinner is served before they go to bed. There's no time to waste then, Belle. Let's go. Good job, Feather Duster. Thanks, Henry. Good job, Drinks Tray. Thanks, Henry. Good job, Food Trolley. Thanks, Henry. Phew! All the guests have been fed, watered and are tucked up safely in their beds. I guess that means we can finally sit back and relax. Mm, excuse me. Oh, hello, Tiny Suitcase. We didn't see you there. How can we help you? I know it's late, Henry. But I got caught outside in the rain. I was wondering if you had one more room available for tonight. The poor thing. What are we going to do, Henry? Taking care of our guests is the most important job. But the hotel is fully booked. Don't worry, Belle. I think I have an idea. Here you are, tiny suitcase. We didn't have any standard rooms left, but how about this? The penthouse suite. Wow! Thanks, Henry. Is this really all for me? It sure is, Tiny Suitcase. At Henry and Belle's super amazing hotel, everyone gets treated like a VIP. A very important person. Yay! my mum calling me, Belle. I'd best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me take care of all the guests in the hotel. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Night, night, Henry. Night, night, Belle. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met. Ship. Hello, Henry. How are you today, cruise ship? One feels positively splendid, Henry. Surrounded by all these wonderful boats. Hello, everyone. Ahoy, Ahoy Henry. Henry. Cruise ship, you're a lot bigger than all of those other boats. In fact, you're the biggest, most ginormous boat I've ever seen. That's because I have to take thousands of passengers far across the ocean to different ports all around the world. Wow! You must have seen some amazing places on your travels. Not yet, Henry, but I will soon, for I'm about to depart on my maiden voyage, a world cruise. I'll be visiting India, Australia, Hawaii, passing through the Panama Canal, and finally finishing in Jamaica at the superest duperest beach resort in the world. You'd best be off then, cruise ship. You have such a long voyage ahead of you. Cruise ship, cruise ship, I have some terrible news. The captain has gotten seasick and had to go home to lie down. 
be around the world, maiden voyage will have to be cancelled. Oh no, Henry. If the cruise is cancelled, none of my passengers will be able to go to the superest duperest beach resort in the world. Aww. If only there was another captain around to help. That gives me a great idea, cruise ship. I could become a captain, and we could set sail on your maiden voyage and take your passengers on an around-the-world cruise. Jolly good idea, Henry. OK, cruise ship, first things first. We're going to have to give you a name. I named the, the Henry Super Duper Cruise Ship. Whee! Yay! All aboard! Whee! Now, Henry, before we set off, we must complete a mustard drill. Did you say mustard drill? <laughs> Not a mustard drill, Henry. A mustard drill. Take it away, life jacket. In case of an emergency, please put your life vests on like this. <laughs> and calmly make your way to the lifeboats on the starboard side. Once here, please remain calm and you will be lowered down to safety. Starboard side? What's that? When looking at the front of the ship, or bow, the starboard side is on the left side, Henry, while the port is on the right side. Thanks, cruise ship. Now let's set sail. Full speed ahead! Hello, Bandra Whirly Ceiling. Hello, Henry. Hello, Sydney Opera House. Good day, Henry. Hello, Kilo Way of Volcano. Hello, Henry. We're almost at the superest, duperest beach resort in the world. We just need to sail through the Panama Canal and we'll be there in no time. Hooray! What's the matter, cruise ship? Why have we stopped? Oh, dear, Henry. The canal looks very narrow. I'll never squeeze through. Don't worry, cruise ship. This looks like a job for Henry the captain. Steady. Port a bit. Starboard a bit. We're going to crash, Henry. It's too narrow. Don't worry, cruise ship. Steady as you go. Steady as you go. You did it, Henry. You guided us through the Panama Canal. We made it to Jamaica and to the superest, duperest beach resort in the world. Thank you ever so much. You're welcome, cruise ship. But I couldn't have done it without your help. Now, who wants to have a beach party? Today Henry met a cruise ship. He laughed along with everyone. Today Henry met a cruise ship. He made lots of friends and had so much fun. Henry! That's my mum calling me cruise ship. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry. And thanks for helping me sail all around the world and have the best maiden voyage ever. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Bye-bye, Henry. Bye-bye. I'm coming, Mum. The day Henry met Candy Floss. <laughs> Hello, Candy Floss. Hello, Henry. How are you today, Candy Floss? I feel fantastic, Henry. Surrounded by the fun of the fairground. Hello, Henry. Hello, everyone. The fairground sure is an exciting place, Candy Floss. But what is it that you do exactly? My place is here, on the snack stall, Henry, with all the other delicious sweet treats. There's light, buttery popcorn. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. Dinky mini donuts. Hello, Hello, Henry. And last, but not least, juicy sweet toffee apples. Hello, Hello Henry. Henry. Hello, delicious sweet treats. Living at the fairground seems like a lot of fun, Candy Floss. You must have ridden all the rides and visited all the stalls a million bazillion times. Well, the thing is, Henry, the snacks and I have been so busy, we haven't had time to go on any of the attractions. But tonight, we're planning on going on every single ride and visit every single stall together! Hooray! 
Candy Floss, Candy Floss, I have some terrible news. The fairground workers have gotten dizzy from riding the waltzers too many times and had to go home. So there's no one to run all the rides. What are we going to do? This is a disaster. If only there was another fairground worker around to help. That gives me a great idea, Candy Floss. I could become a fairground worker, open all the rides, and make sure you and your friends can go on every single one together. That's a great idea, Henry. Roll up, roll up, one and all, young and old. Welcome to Henry's Super Duper Fair of Fun. We've got thrills. We've got spills. The best rides and the best prizes. Is everybody ready? Ready, ready Henry. Henry. Then follow me. First up, it's Henry's Super Duper strength meter Oh, oh. Can I try, please, Henry? Of course, Candy Floss. Step right up. Take the hammer. Ring the bell to win a prize. Come on, do it. Use your muscles. Hit me, hit me. I'm here. Yay, I did it. That was so much fun. There are still plenty of thrills and spills to come, Candy Floss. Let's go. Try your look at Henry's hook -it I got one. Yippee. Hold on tight, everyone. Yeah! Scream if you want to go faster. Yeah! Phew, that was amazing, Henry. That's the most fun we've all had in ages. It's not quite over yet, Candy Floss. There's still one attraction left. Henry's Super Duper Ghost Train of Doom. <laughs> all aboard. Oh, what's the matter, Candy Floss? Why is no one getting on the ride? It looks like a lot of fun, Henry, but I think the Super Duper Ghost Train of Doom might be a little too scary for me and the rest of the snacks. Don't worry, Candy Floss. I think I have an idea. If I ride with all of you, it won't seem as scary because I promise to keep you all safe and sound. What do you say? Great, Great idea, idea, Henry. the bestest, most amazingest ride ever! Yay! Thank you ever so much for all your help and for riding the Super Duper Ghost Train of Doom with us. You're welcome, Candy Floss. It's all in a day's work for Henry the Fairground Worker. Now, who wants to ride the ghost train? One more time! Hooray! met Candy Floss. He laughed a lot. My mum calling me Candy Floss. I best be off. It was really nice meeting you. The pleasure was all mine, Henry, and thanks for helping me and all the other snacks enjoy all the attractions. You're welcome. Have a nice evening. Bye bye, Henry.